So we made it to the Waluke Pond slash lake area. And it's a one and a half mile hike into the lakes area. And you're walking on this old Jeep road. Should be easy. And then there's half a mile of trails along the lake. But there is something on fire over there. See the black smoke? Almost looks like it's spreading. I wonder if it is um, rangeland or something. As long as it doesn't come this way. Very pretty out here, and the clouds are just amazing. So neat. So there's trees way back in there. Basically, that's where we're hiking to. And there might be water, and there might not be water. It's a natural coulee, which I think means collection of water. And then it says when there's runoff or heavy rain, it'll be wet. But it's looking toward the north. It's the parking lot. <clears throat> I just love this view. I feel like this, this reminds me of videos I've seen of Australia, basically, looking straight in the outback. You can hear the power lines crackling. fire keeps flaring up. Keep an eye on it. I think it's a good two, three, four miles away from us, I would guess. And the wind is blowing from the south. It's not blowing from the east. Could get interesting though. <laughs> wow, so they don't let you drive on this road, but they took a road grader down it. You can see the big tire prints and all the sand they scooped out. Getting close to the marshland. See the big grasses growing, cattails. And here, lots of birds. They're very happy. Ah, and that big fire to the east keeps flaring up again. Every time I think it's going out, it flares up. See the big thing of smoke? Black smoke in front of us. There's a black bird, red winged blackbird. Oh, that is neat with the clouds and the grass sticking up. Wow, that'd be a neat photo. Very neat.
I'm actually starting to get tired. After this hike, we'll have like nine to 10 miles for the day. We want to try and do one more. I hope we can do it. It'd be awesome. I love grass like that. Well, I will turn this off until we get to a better vantage point. All right, this is neat. There must be tons of birds here in the early spring. Looks fairly dry now. Uh, I think we're getting close to the end of the roadwalk part of this hike. The wetlands must just be amazing in the winter when it's wet. And that fire's still going up that way. So I'm wondering if someone's burning their field, their stubble. Or something like this caught on fire, maybe. This is amazing. Different world. Oh, and I think we're to the end of the road almost. There's the smoke though. We're pretty close. To, I think we're two miles away from that smoke now. We've gotten pretty close to it. Not sure it was as far as away as I thought. Clouds are awesome though. A lot of red-winged blackbirds, though. We have those at our house. Oh, I love the middle of the state. We're in these scab lands, basically, that area that got had the massive floods repeatedly back in the Ice Age time. Oh, and there's some water here still in these ponds. It hasn't dried up yet. Nice. All right, we got a caution sign coming up. Avoid inlets, fast flowing water. Ah, we will do that. Not flowing fast right now, though. It's pretty stagnant. That is neat, the clouds lined up like that. We made it to the lakes, ponds. So basically this whole hike is your road walking, which is fine. There's no vehicles on the road. A lot of bugs all of a sudden. And there's still a decent amount of water here. So this is a coulee, a natural coulee. 
which I believe is pond. It's a low point from the flooding that happened during the ice age and the water collects here. There's no outlet. So it will all evaporate eventually. See some ducks out there. Wow, it is warm <laughs> walking into the sun. Yeah, these red winged blackbirds sure do make a lot of noise. There's a lot of bugs, a lot of white bugs. Hmm. You keep your mouth shut on this trail. if I hear a pump up ahead here. Sure do. Or is water flowing, one of the two. It's loud. Wow. So this lake is draining. Wow, you can hear that. Oh wow. That's a lot of water. Wow. Okay, so they weren't kidding about avoid inlets, fast flowing water. You see the water swirling there. if we go much farther. Getting into grass. We'll go up to this little hill, hill bump in the road up here. And maybe call it good on this hike. We'll see how far we've went. Our goal is three to four miles from this hike. So it's basically all that water is filling that marshland. Oh my god, there's a fish that just jumped. They got fish in this water and that fire flared up again. Right on the other side of the lake. I think this is as far as we're gonna go. We're gonna go stand over here by the water and see how far we've went. See if I can get that fish to jump again. We are going to turn around. We've been a mile and a half. 
we get some last video of this neat pond slash lake. I wish the fish would jump again. I hear some Canadian geese. This is Waluk Lake. We need to see what it looks like in the fall. I bet it's really small, if not gone. I mean, it gets so hot out here in the summer for months. I just can't believe they're draining water from it right now. Like, I guess the marshland needs it though. Yeah, that fire's been burning our whole time we've been walking on this trail. We don't smell it, so that's good. Ooh, there's an eagle. If you have a TV, you'll see him. Wow, that is neat. He's pretty big. I think he wanted to eat us. <laughs> Here he comes. He's coming back for more. He's right in the opening of the clouds where you see the blue sky. Now he's to the left of it. Going into the dark cloud. And now coming back. He just dropped something. Something's falling. I think he ate something. It must have been a fish. Did you see that fall? Yeah, I had to make sure I wasn't seeing any things. That was pretty cool. I wonder if it was a rodent. Wow, oh, it is so quiet. All right, I'm not going to talk. Listen to the silence. We don't get rained on. Those clouds are looking darker to the east. <laughs> we'll be all right though. All right, I think we're gonna head back. This was pretty neat. Definitely worth checking out since we were here. I would do one of the longer hikes though if you come to see this. Also, this is like a warm-up hike. Love the sound of that insect. I don't know if it's crickets or cicadas. Back to the car and on to the third potential hike. I'm not sure I have any gas left to do it, but we'll try. We'll have nine miles of hiking after this for the day. Yeah, all those, whatever's making that noise thinks it's evening with the clouds. <laughs> Sound like crickets. I don't know though. It could be cicadas. I don't know what else makes noise like that. Oh, I am tired though. Feet are getting sore. This road is not the softest to walk on.
Well, I think that's the it for the wetlands. No more bugs to listen to. We might call this video good. Hopefully it turned out well and give you something different to watch. Washington's not all green all the time. But um, thanks for watching if, if I end this. All right, this is the favorite food of butterflies in Washington. Pew. There's like half a dozen butterflies on that pew. <laughs> I've never seen that before till today. That's too funny. Make that my thumbnail for this video. <laughs> and the fire's out. Good news. I see a little bit of smoke, but very faint. So we are almost back to the parking lot. <sighs> And I am tired. One last look off to the west. The bugs are coming out too, so kind of looking forward to getting to the car. There's big giant mosquitoes swarming us every once in a while. But I think that's it. Unless I see anything else that's interesting. <laughs>